Hi, everybody. It's Rick Haas, president of United Real Estate. I wanted to let you know that we're involved in a wonderful fundraiser, and it's being held in conjunction with our 2023 National Business Conference, Elevate. Our principal broker, Nick Bristow, and his team are working on a junk car that they've located, resurrected it, and they're rebuilding it so they can try to drive it from Dallas to Orlando in an effort to raise money for Autism Speaks. You know, our Autism Speaks has been our national charity for a good long while, and this year we're, we're doing all we can to raise money once again. Um, in the description below, you'll find a link that allows you to click on that link and make a donation to the effort. We wish Nick the best in his drive from Dallas to Orlando. Hope he makes it, and it's going to be fun watching. have a lazy senior at Nick Senior Service Center, we'll put that lazy senior to work. Dorothy, you get back busy doing something else. Jim and I got a lot of work to do. Uh, <laughs> you are so funny. But we you love you. I might be a little old lady. But oh. <laughs> All right, guys, it is crazy hot. I think the heat index, heat index is going to be 119 or 120 degrees. So it's hot out here. So what we got going on today, Jim is once again trying to reorganize my tools. This is what we got going on. We're build, uh, rebuilding the brakes in this car. So last week, I rebuilt the rears and went to tighten things up and these brake ho uh, the brake lines, the metal ones, were rusted and I mean, they literally crumbled. And so I looked online, you know, I looked online to see if I could uh, find some. And, you know, this is a, a charity event car, so I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. And they're like 300 bucks for a set, so I'm like, you know, we'll just make some. So I bought this off Amazon, that coil of brake line for 15 bucks. And it comes with all the fittings. I also got in my, I had purchased the wrong wheel cylinders for the front. So that's the ones from, uh, I bought those from Rock Auto. They're only like seven bucks. Um, these brake hoses, um, discount tire, I'm not sorry, uh, AutoZone donated that. They do donated most of the brake stuff. I think I showed y'all earlier. Uh, they gave us a new front, a new uh, brake master cylinder. They also donated that alternator and this battery and all the shocks and tons of other stuff. It was just, it's making this event, uh, making this so much nicer. Got a lot of work to do. But anyway, so we're going to get to work on these brakes before it gets 700 degrees out here. Uh, I'm going to try to get all this stuff bolted together and see how it's going to work out. I'm smart enough to put all the brake parts in a bag. And the good thing about nowadays is um, good thing about nowadays is I can take pictures of what I disassemble uh, and then delete the photos from my phone accidentally. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't delete them. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these put together. hit the brakes and see Rebecca fly out the side of the car. So I got this hose on. I'm gonna hope that that this right here is still good. Right here that this hose is still good. That that nut's obviously torn up, so I'm gonna put it back on with vice grip like I got it off. The line looks okay. Uh, the less lines I gotta make, the better, because every line I make is a chance of it leaking because I've never done it before. 
uh, so the less I touch the better so let me go ahead and get this uh, brake plate back on let me get this set up here Jim's always wondering who the heck I'm talking to you see when you're like me see my gloves that's from welding and sparks and welding the wrong uh, wearing the wrong kind of glove you know kind of weird how it's kind of weird how this goes together it's just to me it's just really doesn't make sense that they did it this way but you know what they know what they're doing oh you know what i did i put the wrong uh, wheel cylinder on it's there's a left and a right so let me undo this all right let's try this again i was talking about how stupid amc was for the way they did their hose it wasn't them it was me being stupid and not knowing there's a left and right for the front wheel cylinder so i got it all orientated oriented correctly now it all makes sense to my brain let's get this back on right here and uh then we can get to start building this brake uh this brake I'm, I'm i got new i'm sorry i'm using the old uh the old brake shoes and the old drums you know and and best case scenario you don't want to do that but i've only got to go well not i rebecca and i she's part of this miserable journey too uh talked her into it um we got to get to florida all right this is as far as we got to go so man now i'm thinking i should have put that wheel see that's the problem here look they got this thing so tight right here they can't even really get a wrench on it so it's gonna take a while to to screw that on there i don't know if y'all want to watch i'll see y'all in a minute let me show you what i'm talking about these brake shoes got plenty of life i don't know if y'all can see with the glare from the sun uh they got plenty of life left on them enough to get to florida these drums got some grooves but they got plenty of material like i said you know in when you're rebuilding a car and rebuilding the brakes and say you're going to keep it for a while yeah then you want to get new shoes get the drums turned get new ones but for this one like i said we're just going to uh orlando uh for the autism speaks journey and i just got to get to orlando a thousand miles mostly freeway so we'll be okay all right i went ahead and repacked that bearing full of grease i didn't clean it but it's actually pretty clean so and you're probably thinking i should have and i, I probably should have but should have would have could have no it's actually really clean uh no grit in it uh, the grease in it was surprisingly good for me as old as it was but i went ahead and repacked it really good i'm uh i think these are probably pretty common sized um bearings or uh, yeah bearings so what i'm probably gonna do just to be safe is bring uh probably bring a set of bearings with me hang on let me see if they went in right bring a set of bearings with me on the trip in case i have a wheel bearing go out at least i can man where the hell is the hole oh there it is that way okay just in case we have a wheel bearing go out i can jack this thing up on the side of the road um the autozone folks are gonna be nice enough um he's gonna give me phone numbers of autozones all the way on the trip what that broke off um all the way on the trip so if we have a breakdown i can call the nearest auto zone give them the like a po number and they probably says don't give this guy anything just kidding it's a po number uh and so that way when we're on the trip if we um if we break down or something we can call the closest auto zone and they'll come come uh 
gives a hand as best they can. So that's kind of cool. So thanks again, AutoZone. Y'all have a huge help, huge help. Let me get this crud cleaned up. Kept falling into the brakes. So the way this works is this is gonna go up. They all can't even see me. This is gonna go up into this hole right here. And there's a clip that holds it. Um, and I just screw this on and it fits. One thing that's nice is that's torn up. I was able to get it off with the vice grip. That's the way I'm putting it back on because it's one less break, break uh, line I gotta make because I'm not guaranteed I've done them. I've never done it before. I'm sure everybody's like, oh, they're really easy. And I'm sure they are if you've done it before. Uh, I just don't want to do it twice on this car, so I'm gonna go get my wrench. One of these days, I'm gonna buy me some. Ugh, I think it's gonna work. One of these days, they have a special wrench for these. One of these days, I just need to buy some. I almost forget till I need it. And I say that what I just said, and then I forget again. That small town banjo breakdown Wrote it back in Tennessee They wanna hear that small town banjo breakdown They wanna hear it at the county fair They wanna hear it everywhere Even in the big city No, they don't want me to put it down Oh my God, it's hot The Texas State Bird is a mosquito. And they are bad today. We've had a heat, guys, like we've never, we've not never had it quite quite this bad as far as the heat index goes. It's been so humid. Now it's not just us, I guess it's kind of kind of across the country. It's been so dad gum hot. Oh man, don't tell me I'm missing something. missing one of these push push rods right there let me get looking so here's what we got here's my luck you see this plunger for the brakes let me turn around you see that i need two i've only got one i went to AutoZone. they don't have any dorothy i went to AutoZone. so the only thing i can do is we're gonna have to make one out of this bolt uh that's what i'm doing now so see how life goes bolt I cut the head off and I put it in here and I'm gonna turn my grinding wheel on and, and see if I can have this going and that going to see if I can round that out to look like that. same then all I gotta do is cut this bolt down and then cut that slot in it and then we should have one. Oh, and then I gotta put a put it back in there and see how it's got that little lip in there that's to keep the rubber cut from sliding off so I'm gonna have to get a file put it back in here and then do that Got it cut shorter and holding like that because it's hot. Now I just gotta cut some slots into it. See, it's gotta fit that. See how this one fits that? I have to have one for each side and I'm lost one. 
but I'm getting there. Here's the one I'm making. I gotta clean up the notch, but it's looking pretty, pretty good like it's gonna work. I make it a little bit deeper and I'm good. All right, so what I got, I got, this is the original one. You can see it's got this, the slotted end. And I'm making one right there out of a bolt. I got it rounded, I got the slots cut in it. But then you'll notice on this one, it's got a little bit of a lip right there that catches the piece of rubber so it won't slide off. But well, it's the same as this, so I'm gonna put this piece in a drill and hold this there and make me a slot. I got a little bit of a slot there. That's gonna be enough. Let's y'all compare here. Take my glove off. So here's the old one. Here's the, not the old one, that's the one. And here's the one I made. It should work just fine for the brakes. And then I can get the brakes back together. I'm gonna add some fluid in here just to the front. I'm gonna go ahead and add some fluid just to the front. So this is a two circuit, so that's the back. That's the front. In the old days, the reservoir used to be just one, you know, one big bowl. So if you got a leak in the front, you lost the front and the rear brake. So they decided to put a separator. So if for some reason, like say, you cut a brake line or one wear through and it dumps all the fluid out of the front, you still have back brakes and vice versa. So. Kind of cool setup, but I'm gonna put some fluid in there and see what happens. Here we go. I'm gonna add just a little bit at first. Ooh, that's more than a little bit. Here's what we got going on now. I made some some brake lines. I flared them. That's a flaring tool. It's actually, I thought it was kind of hard, but it's really easy to do to make brake lines. Well, I say that, I, I, maybe I'll let Rebecca test drive the car. I'm just kidding. But what happened was the old ones here are very corroded. In fact, one of them is so rusty it broke in half. But I've still got to make a brake line that goes from the front of the car all the way to the rear to feed those two. So I'm gonna make that one next. Uh, and then we kind of got, kind of got the brakes done as far as everything installed. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of getting them bled uh, once we're done with that. So that'd be kind of a big relief. I've got a new brake system in the car. Um, it uh brake lights work let's see what else works the ignition switch works the motor turns over we haven't started it yet but so so far so good i'm running low on time uh it doesn't seem like it it's like right now it's the end of june we're heading out first of september but that time can go by really quick if there's something wrong so uh we shall see so what i'm doing i'm under the car i hate being under here because i was afraid of being crushed alive but there's a a new brake line all the way up to there so the, the the flexible line comes in that goes down and i run out those, those other two metal ones i made to go that way and that way so just got that daggum thing off now i've got this and i'm i'm cutting it and i'm gonna do a, use my flare tool to flare this brake line Get this line started in there. on the brake pedal tell me if any fluid squirts out the back of this t see where i just took that off the you t to, you want me to press on the pedal no if you can watch i can get in there just see if anything comes out of this t right here on the end there because something should come out because that's the back that's the on front brake this one here yeah let me know if anything comes out i'm gonna put it on real soft yeah, 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 yeah. okay good yeah you betcha 
Alrighty, All right, good. So I'm gonna run a new line. I'm just gonna leave that one there for decoration. I'm gonna run a new line across and out over there. So let me undo that side now real quick. All right, folks. I'm gonna do this brake line right here. Hey, Jim, can you get me a 5 8 wrench? Oh, I need those vice grips too. This, uh, I'll round it off this one. I'm also dealing with his neck. Next neck issue I got. I got in a, I don't say I got in, I got hit last week. Thank God Jim and Dorothy were with me in the car. I was getting on the Dallas North Tollway and getting on the entrance ramp and the traffic stopped. And, uh, I you know, <laughs> look stupid in there. Anyway, the traffic stopped and, uh, so I stopped, my lane stopped, and the lady behind me was in an Audi A5, and boy, she had that thing, she was gunning it, she was, you know, you gotta gun it to get on the tollway or you get run over. Well, we had stopped and she didn't see it, and I saw her coming, and she's probably slammed into rear into me. I'm sitting still. She's doing like 50. Nice young lady. Um, but it cranked, I mean, it cranked my neck. And I've been having some issues, and so if I'm kind of moving a little bit slower than normal, it's because I'm in some, I'm trying to be careful. My neck, it really hurts, but I'm still trying to be able to get this stuff done. So, all right, I got this brake line. Let me break it loose, I'll break it off. All right, Jim, I'm gonna hook up the fan. Uh, I'll get the, the fan going real quick. I see about getting this brake line through here. I don't wanna go, I was thinking about just going over the motor, but I have a feeling that this, and I might be totally wrong, and maybe someone can tell me, but I just kinda had a feeling that maybe the, that maybe that maybe the brake line is supposed to be below the brake master cylinder. Let me try to get that hook. Hey, good thing I noticed my half inch wrench there. Let me check it now. Is it down? Don't touch them yet, baby. Yeah, let me pull that front one up. Look at that. That's the back one. It's good. Let me put some in the front. Front brakes work. There we go. All righty. Yeah. All right, go ahead and pump it five times. Yeah, how's the pedal feel? Tell me when you're there. Five. Okay, hold it. Jim, are you supposed to keep your uh, arms like that? Yep. Okie dokie. Okay, pump it. Two, three, four, five. Hold it. Now get the fluid pump it. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it. Are you holding it in? No. Okay, hold it in. It's in. Man, that was bled, but it's not. Is that in? Yes. What? Huh. All right. You want me to let go? Yeah, go ahead and let go. Uh, I gotta pull this one apart. Going in for a little bit, baby? Okay. I gotta... Hey, we don't even have to uh, un undo it because it just opens. <laughs> oh, the door? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Daddy. Well, where's your other chair? Where's your chair? You want the chair over there? Uh, you want the chair over there? I can't get in. I 
Good day today. We got the brakes bled on this baby. It actually stopped under its own power. Thank you so much again, AutoZone. I thank you a million times uh, for the brake master cylinder and all the new wheel cylinders and hoses. Uh, Jim and I, Jim and I made new brake lines. They work. And once again, a big shout out to to Puddin's Fab Shop. My woman is man she's so freaking happy right now her 340 something thousand mile trailblazer was missing and having problems and i thought that it was done and then Puddin had a video the other day i probably already told you this had a video of him fixing his mom's trailblazer with the exact same symptoms and uh there's was a bad coil on her so we got it fixed so say thanks dorothy Why say thanks did i do something that was fine <laughs> thanks y'all yeah you all 